So today, you have come to be baptized. Your friends and family have come to watch you. Be a, be a public declaration of your love for Jesus Christ. And it is an act of obedience, an outward sign, an outward sign of an inward commitment to Jesus Christ. As it says in Romans chapter 6, verse 3 through 4, and it's coming. Do you not know that all of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. So just as Jesus was buried and raised from the dead on the third day, we are going to dunk you for three days and bring you back out. Just kidding. Just kidding. I thought that was funny. Yeah. So as the word of the Lord says, all of us who were baptized into Christ through his death were raised to a new life. We were raised to a new life by Jesus Christ, by God. As it says in the text of Romans chapter 5, verse 1, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So in this reading, faith is how we are united to Christ and made righteous in him. Therefore, by being justified by faith, we are justified through our faith in Christ having peace through God, our Lord, Jesus Christ, which is so clearly and powerfully brought forth through our faith. So when you trust, trust in Jesus, you're united to Jesus, and when you're united to Him, what He is, and is He for you? Absolutely. But he is so just, righteous, and pure, and holy. So you become just, righteous, and pure, and holy in him. And that's the glory of the union of Christ by faith alone. We show this faith and we signify it. And how we symbolize is the act of baptism. You see, at a wedding, when we used to say, with this ring, I thee wed. That was the symbol of us getting married, married to our wonderful, wonderful spouse. With this ring, I thee wed. But we also make a covenant to be married to our spouse through the words that we're saying to one another, a covenant vow. And that's the inward transformation that we make through our faith. So it's not necessarily this ring or more that baptism is a symbol of our faith in Jesus Christ. You see, we, it says in chapter 6 of Romans, we were buried, therefore, with him by baptism. With baptism, meaning this ring, we were buried by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too can walk in a newness of life. You see, the imagery of baptism is most fundamentally death, burial, and resurrection. By faith, we are united to him. And as he died, buried, and was raised, We die, are buried, and raised to new life. And his death is behind us. Our death is behind us. The glory of the Lord, when you trust Jesus, your death is over, and your death becomes a transformation inside of us in amazing ways. He, Jesus, died, and he was raised to new life. So today, I hope and pray for all of us to die and to be raised to new life with Jesus Christ, to raise to a new life. So 
So let's take a moment and praise the Lord. Lord, I thank you so hugely for the people that you've brought to be baptized today. Please put a blessing over them. Bless them with new life. Bless them by being buried and brought back in a wonderful, wonderful transformation inside of them in amazing ways. But today, they come to be baptized on that outward symbol of their love and their faith in you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So our Lord said, Whoever acknowledges me before men, I will acknowledge him before my Father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before men, I will disown him before my Father in heaven. So I now ask you to confess your faith publicly by answering I do to these questions. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, in the Holy Spirit as the Trinity? Do you believe Christ died for your sins and arose from the dead to give you everlasting life? Do you confess that you are holy and hope for salvation from sin and eternal punishment is found in your personal trust in Jesus Christ alone? And do you affirm your intentions to live for Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit? Wonderful. Good job. Ha, 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 ha.
Oh, merciful God, grant that as Christ died and rose again, so that your servant may die to sin and rise to newness of life, being washed clean from their sin, grant that all sinful afflictions may die in him or her, and that may all things belonging to the Spirit may live and grow in each person that was baptized today. Grant that they may have power and strength to have victory and to triumph against the devil, the word and the flesh. Amen.